look what I just got. It's Escape from Colditz put out by Osprey Games and I'm going to be unboxing it today. This is James with the Board Game Network and this Colditz is a German POW camp that was supposedly uh, unescapable. Maybe kind of like Hogan's Heroes but maybe not quite as funny. Uh, and this is a game that came out in the 1970s and this is a a new version of it Colditz Castle World War II an impregnable fortress an inescapable prison until now designed by Major Pat Reed one of only a handful of prisoner of war to escape Colditz Castle and screenwriter Brian Degas Escape from Colditz is the iconic game of careful planning and nerves of steel. Become allied escape officers, assemble your equipment, plot your escape routes, and coordinate your efforts to avoid the guards. Become the German security officer, maintain control through guile, ruthlessness, and careful observation despite limited numbers. This deluxe edition of the classic game for two to six players includes both original and updated rules, new hand-painted artwork, an oversized board, 56 wooden playing pieces, 100 fully illustrated cards, 32-page history book, and unique replicas of artifacts from the prison. 75 years ago, Major Reed braved barbed wire searchlights and armed guards to escape from Colditz. Now it's your turn to do the same. This plays in an hour and a half, 90 to 150 minutes for 14 years and up. Let me get into this. Let's see what we got. Starting out with the board right here on top. Here's our history book. Wow, this is great. Backstory here. Ooh, layout of the castle. And we have the rules right here in the middle. That's great when games are designed based on some historical incident uh, and they're trying to recreate that. There is our map board giving you an, um, what each piece of the board does there on the side. Here's different setups it looks like for two players, three players, four players, five players, and six players. This says two to six players. Two to six players. That's interesting. Tunnels, successful escapes, winning the game. And here are the classic rules reprinted for your enjoyment. Classic rules are four pages. 
The updated rules are five pages with some reference stuff at the end uh, in addition to the five pages. Here's our rule book. Let's see what we got here. Uh, some cards. Or something written in German that I don't speak. Uh huh. Kind of looks like they're looking for these people that escaped or something. I'm not sure. Maybe this is a wanted poster. Opportunity cards. Exchange. Move fast. Staff car. Release from solitary hideaway. Bribe a sentry. Okay, that's that deck of cards. Check out this insert here. It's got a spot for your card decks so they don't go sliding around. Here are security cards. Personal escape kit. Escape equipment. Wire cutters, rope, key, German pass, do or die, search the stores, search the kitchen, roll call, shoot to kill. Okay, those are our two card decks. Let's see what's in here. This looks like the first aid kit. A postcard. Here are some kind of counter sheet. Here we have to all prisoners of war, the escape in prison camps is no longer a sport. This is great that they put some historical stuff in here. We got a bunch of pawns, different color pawns, six, six different color pawns, two D6s. Plastic case to hold everything in so it's not rolling around. Separated so your colored pawns are uh, separate. And we even got a map board on the bottom of the box. Let's check out the board. There is our board. And that's what you can expect from Escape from Colditz. Uh, this is put out by Osprey Games again. Historically, uh, based on a historical event of an escape from the Nazi POW camp during World War II. Make sure you tune into all of our videos at the Board Game Network. Uh, be sure and like us on Facebook, on our Facebook page. Uh, like this video if you like the, seeing more unboxings. If uh, you subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash board game network, then you can keep up to date on all of our latest videos.